rest is so important and when i'm talking about rest i mean the things you do when you're awake and resting not sleep so i think it's now very very widely recognized that sleep is really important for our physical health and for our psychological well-being but what i want is for people to start taking the rest they do when they're awake more seriously because it is so important for so many different things obviously it's important physically so that your body can start to recuperate when you're exhausted but it is so important psychologically and cognitively as well and so we know for example that um when if people have a short break their memory improves their concentration improves there've been some extraordinary studies done on this and uh, there's one that comes to mind in um Scotland where they just got people to list um they got people to learn lists of words so a straightforward memory task and then half the people had a short break in a darkened room where they could just sit down for a while the other half did another task an easy task and then they had to remember all the words and it was there was a significant difference in between the number of words that people could remember if they'd had a break and if they hadn't but what was really striking and amazing i think about this study is that they also did it with people with amnesia and people with amnesia obviously don't can't make new memories it's very hard for them to remember a list of words usually people can remember 14% 14% of the words they're given but if people had a break that went right up to 49% which is staggering i think such a staggering difference so breaks are really important important to us cognitively and mentally if we don't get enough rest and don't get enough breaks then there are all sorts of consequences of fatigue we know that we make poor judgments when we're very tired uh, we know that accidents can happen simple misunderstandings are much more likely when people are tired and people's uh, memories as i said aren't as good when they're tired but it also affects people's well-being as well and so I was involved in a, a huge piece of research that um called the rest test um which 18,000 people from around the world took part in and it was devised by psychologists at, at Durham University and one of the things we found that was really striking was that people's well-being levels were twice as high in those who felt that they got enough rest compared with those who felt they didn't and two thirds of people in the general population felt they needed more rest and this was before the pandemic and i can imagine that number would be higher now and particularly amongst nhs staff who've been working so hard so i think it is so important for our well-being to make sure we prioritize rest when we can and obviously that is easier said than done you know i'm not saying it's easy to find the time to rest when people are really busy but there are things people can do